Hello, abundant entrepreneur. It's Tash Corman here, and welcome to another episode of the Heart Centered Business Podcast. This is episode number 168. So, all the show notes and the special freebie that I have for you today are available at tashcorman.com forward slash 168. Today, what we're going to be talking about is a little bit behind the scenes in my business. I'm going to let you know what my income goal is for 2019 and how I plan to achieve it. So, let's jump in. So I'm one of those people who's very open about my income goals, my results, my monthly income in my business. I share all the behind the scenes and financials of my business quite consistently because I think it's great for us to have an open conversation about this and it really does help everyone to feel more comfortable talking about money. We've been programmed for a very long time to believe that talking about money is really unseemly. I actually don't agree with that. I think the more we talk about money, the more empowered we become, the more we make great decisions with our money as well, the more inspired we are to keep moving forward and the better we can perform in our businesses because what gets measured gets improved and a goal shared is a goal magnified. So this is my second year in a row, 2019 will be my second year in a row where I set an income target for the year of 1 million Australian dollars. So um, in 2017, my goal was half a million and I did come quite close to that. We were over 400,000 for the year. In 2018, my income goal was a million dollars again. And this is top line revenue. This is not you know, expenses and all that kind of stuff have to come out of it. Um, I, I'm not going to get particularly close to the million this year. We have gone over the half mil, but it looks like we won't we won't be getting close to the million this year. So I will be setting the same goal again for 2019 of one million dollars top line revenue for my business in 2019. Now I wanted to share with you like why I feel confident that I am going to be able to do it in 2019, how I'm planning to make this happen, and some of my lessons from my 2018 um, goals and results. So um, one of the things I want to say before I jump into this is when it comes to setting income goals, I have one of those personalities where I'm never disheartened by not achieving my goals. And I share this with the ladies in 100 Days of Colour, um, which I do starting on the 1st of January and 1st of July every year. It's a 100 day program where we track our income. We set a stretch goal and we track our income. Now I tell the girls every year and every round, guess what? I've never actually achieved my income goal in the 100 days, ever. I've never actually achieved my goal. But for me, I've increased my income every single round and I get really excited about the possibility and I work my way towards that. And even though I've never actually achieved my income goal, like my income has skyrocketed. And so it doesn't upset me. I've got no problem with the fact that I haven't made my income goal yet. But for some people, this kind of audacious setting huge income goals can be very, very uncomfortable for them. And if there's any chance that they're not going to make it, they won't share it, they won't talk about it, they won't take action towards it, and it actually sends them into a bit of mindset wobbles. So know yourself when it comes to setting goals and understand what's going to work for you. I am quite happy to go out there and share a giant income goal and then get nowhere near it. I don't find that embarrassing at all. I actually find it really open and I find it to feel totally fine because we all friends here in the Lady Posse and I don't mind sharing with you that I haven't quite hit that income target yet and that's totally okay. So some of my lessons for two th from 2018 have included when you think you've culled and refined and you feel like there's nothing else that you could get rid of in your business, go deeper. I closed down multiple programs in 2018 and really focused my business down on some key, very clear offerings. And that has been a really beautiful thing. In 2018, I went on a speaking tour. I felt like I needed to create a new thing as an upsell from that speaking tour. So I created the quarter three mastermind. 
Um, I also had Get With The Program, which I closed, Lean Startup School, which I closed, Courses With Heart, which I closed. So in 2018, I went through this process of closing some things down, starting something new up, closing a lot of new things down, and I've refined again and again. And every time I think, no, I'm down to the key things and that I can't refine any further, I find something else that um, isn't quite aligned to my future direction in my business. And the beautiful thing for me is that in the final quarter of, 2009, of 2018, I have seen another upsurge in my income thanks to me refining my offerings right down. At the start of 2018, I still had 27 different things that people, people could buy from me. In the mid-2017, I had 39. So I have been working my way down, down, down so that I can bring it all the way down to as few things as possible so I can be very, very focused. Now, for me, it is a balancing act. Yes, I do want to help people in startup and in the scale and systemized part of their business. There are so many people that I've worked with in startup who want to keep working with me. So they're always asking, what's the next thing? But I have found even more opportunities to refine down my offer offerings at the end of 2018. And in 2019, I'm going to be open to even further refinement if necessary. So when you think you've culled and refined, do a little more. I got rid of bundles, $19 trials of the academy. I got rid of um, one of my books that I wasn't really happy with. I got rid, like I just got rid of so much in 2018 and I am so grateful that I did. One of the big rules that I set for myself in 2018 was I was not allowed to overlap launches. It was one thing at a time. And as a result, I only got to launch the Courses with Heart program once at the start of the year. And then there was no space for me to relaunch it. And I, when I sat down and did my review of quarter three, um, towards the end of September, I realized I'm not going to be able to launch this effectively. I'm, this isn't a good fit now anymore for my business. And to be honest with you, there's this weird, um, there was this weird um, confusion about whether people should do courses with heart first or the academy or do the academy. Da, da, da. And in the end, I went, actually, they both go together. I'm going to put courses with heart content into the academy and just sell the academy. And we've seen a huge rise in the number of people in the academy as a result. So when you think you've culled and refined, have a little another look and be open to refining even further. Big lesson for me in 2018. 2018 was the year of strength and simplicity and I absolutely nailed it and I went deeper than I ever thought that I would. Next, when you think you've organized and outsourced, check it again, have a little, go a little deeper. So particularly at the start of 2018, I thought I had found the right team, the right makeup of that team, um, the right level of getting things outsourced in my business. I felt like we had systemized ourselves quite well. We were starting to really get rocking and rolling. And then in August of this year, I started to realize, well, probably early I realized, but I started to realize, no, things are still feeling a little out of control. And the more my business is expanding at the moment, the more freaked out I am and the more it's triggering mindset wobbles for me. So clearly I don't have the organization and outsourcing set up effect as effectively as I need for this next level of business. So I hired in August the fabulous Gemma, she's my online business manager, and we went way further. Seriously, I've worked with organization experts and systemizing experts and that kind of thing, but there is something so powerful about hiring an online business manager for your business who has their own team and knows how to systemize like the back of her hand and doesn't take no for an answer and really stands up to me and is you know a total powerhouse in my business. And I have Gemma to thank for a lot of the great results that have come in towards the end of 2018. And I know now we are set up for that growth in 2019 and that makes me very excited. So when you feel like you've organized yourself and outsourced as much as you can, go deeper. And then the next one, the next one is when you think you are completely focused on income generating activities, look again. So I, when I did an analysis 
It was about July. I did an analysis for two weeks of what I spent my time doing because I had estimated that I would spend about 50% of my time in my business on income generating activities and about 50% of my time divided between client delivery and other admin. So it was like 50, 30, 20 was what I estimated my activities in. When I actually looked at the time I was spending in my business, I was spending about 30% on client delivery. That was about right. I was spending about 50% of my time on other chasing things, admin, da da da, and only 20% of my time on income generating activity. And it was a really big eye opener for me. So uh, have a look at the time that you're investing in your business. If you think, no, I'm very income focused, I know what my promos are each week, I'm really consistent, I do it really well, think again, go and double check. I actually overestimated how many Facebook Lives I thought I had done in the six months prior to that review. And I've really addressed that now in the last six months. Um, I know that there's more that I could do, absolutely. I really thought that I had maximized my email sales um, processes and making sure I got all the emails in front of the right people. And when I looked at it, there were several times where upsell emails just didn't go out because I didn't get to them in time. And I was starting to, um, I was actually starting to let that stuff go and not um, uh, not actually do those income generating activities. There were things where I'd done all this work on getting leads in, warmed them up really beautifully and then not asked for the sale afterwards because I was just so worn out and overworked and I was too focused on fighting fires in other areas. So it was a really powerful thing for me to see. So my big um, strategies for 2018 to achieve my goals are number one, reduce my range and deepen my experience and my connection. So I'm down to, I'm going to show you this little picture that I drew. I'm down to six things. For those listening on the podcast, I'm down to six things that I will be promoting only in 2019 and that I will be very focused on those six things. And there's three major things and three minor things. So it's a really beautiful um, mix for me. Um, and also my plan is to keep refining more, batching more, systemizing more, outsourcing more, but do less. So all, all of these things are more, but actually the doing is less. So refine more is spend less time in doing stuff and more time making decisions and just refining things down and crossing things off the list. Um, Batching more is actually doing less for me because I sit down and record 10 videos at a time. That's 10 weeks of not having to freak out, remember that I have to do my batching, remember what videos, write them down, write the list over and over again, freak out, oh, I forgot to do it, now I haven't got my hair done. I'm taking all of that out of the equation. I'm booking in my batching days for 2019. They are happening come hell or high water and I will make sure that I batch really effectively in 2019 because I've nailed it towards the end of 2018 and that has been a beautiful thing and it has felt so much easier for me and it makes my team's lives really easy as well. So um, I wanted to just share with you what my big six focus areas are for 2019. So we have... Take Off, my signature startup program. It's one of my best income generators in my business. And in 2019, I'm going to be doing two significant launches of the Take Off program. I am still in decision mode about whether I will be increasing the price of the Take Off program in 2019. It is something that I think has been underpriced for quite a while. I made a commitment in 2018 to leave it at 995 um, because I really, it really felt like a good fit for me at that point in time. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't put the prices up just because everybody says put the price up. And so it's been really good. And now I'm feeling into the space of whether it's due for a little price increase just to accommodate the extra team expenses, um, the extra impact and, and um, on my time, the extra energy that goes into the takeoff program these days with the number of women that are in there. So I'll be having a think about that. But takeoff is priority number one. Number two is the Heart Center Business Academy. So I'll be having mostly evergreen launches of that, continuing to run Get Profesh sessions with the Upsell into the Academy with 
different offers here and there to incentivize people jumping in. Um, and then my one big sale of the one big launch of the academy each year. So um, academy is going to be a big focus in 2019. Then we have conference. So we've got 2019 conference. Um, still have about 55 tickets to that to get sold. So that will be a focus um, between now and March. Ladyposse2019.com if you haven't got your tickets yet. And then um, my goal is actually to sell out 2020 within three months of completing 2019. So by the halfway point in the year, um, we're downgrading the size of the conference venue and therefore the number of tickets that are available for 2020. So we're gonna open up ticket sales only to the people who are there in 2019 first. They will have a two week head start to get their tickets. Then we'll open it up to the wider audience. And um, my goal is for those to be sold out by mid year 2019. Then don't have to worry about marketing and promo again. So fingers crossed that that plan all works out. If not, I'm flexible. I've got plans. Um, Udemy is going to be a big part of my business in 2019. Um, as you may have seen, I'm running a retreat with Sal Jade, the Udemy queen, and Miriam Castilla, the manifesting queen, and Tash Corbin, the strategy queen. I mean, three queens running a retreat together. So exciting. Uh, Udemy has been actually a really big eye-opener for me in my business. The incorporation of Udemy into a heart-centered strategy has just worked really gorgeously and I'm going to continue to focus on that. So 2019, more Udemy courses will be coming out. Uh, 100 Days of Colour, my beautiful tracking program, um, will continue to bring in a nice chunk of money for me each year and VIPs and mastermind clients. So that is my million dollar business model. Amongst those six things, across those six things, that's all I need to hit my million dollar income target for the year. And that's a really beautiful thing. That makes me feel really calm, very centered, very focused, and that's always a good thing, isn't it? So if you would like to set yourself a big goal for 2019, and if you would like to increase your chances of achieving that goal, I wanted to share a little freebie with you. So you may have seen my coloring book that I did with the fabulous artist Hinareda. Well, um, I'm giving away one of the tracking sheets and a bunch of, um, of the artworks from uh, 50 pages of color for you to print at home and use for your progress art. So um, 50 pages of color is a beautiful coloring book with purpose. What you do is you set yourself a goal and then you divide that goal into the number of elements. So this, um, the one that I'm showing on video is 200 stairs up a beautiful spiral staircase. And um, so for example, if you set yourself a goal of making $2,000 for the month, each step would be worth $10. So for every $10 you make in your business, you track that income. And it's a beautiful way to stay focused on income generating activities. Here are some that I've completed. Sorry for those of you listening on the podcast, you won't be able to see these, but you can come and see them over at tashcorbin.com forward slash 168. If you come and have a look at the um, show notes and you'll be able to see the video there. So what I'm doing is I am um, giving away a couple of the uh, artworks from inside this book and the tracking sheets that go with them so that you can set yourself an income target and track your way to it because I do believe it's one of the big reasons why I've been able to increase my income in my business so consistently is because I track my income every single day. And if you're interested in getting some guided support through that process, then of course do come and check out the 100 Days of Color program. It starts on the 1st of January and the 1st of July each year. It's $287 to join. It includes uh, planning workshops and all the setup. And we have eight workshops together throughout the 100 days focused on both mindset and business strategy and the ways that you're actually going to bring the money in. And it's a gorgeous, connected, fabulous little program. So all the details of that will be available with the show notes for today's episode at tashcorbin.com forward slash 168. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the Heart Centered Business Podcast. Until next time, I've been Tash Corbin. You've been a fabulous listener and I cannot wait to see you shine. Bye for now.